Hi Taurus, Talia, Salia's Tarot. I'm going to do your <clears throat> love spread for July. So remember, this is a general reading. It's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it's in regards to the person that you're thinking about. Wow, one already fell. Okay, so this is the Virgo card. Maybe your person is a Virgo or has it in their chart. But regardless, this is about introspection. You're thinking about things. You're thinking about everything that's been going on maybe in this connection. Um, or you're like wanting and having time to yourself to meditate, to manifest, and to create your own version of your reality, basically. Introspection. Seeking that light within, whether it's religiously or not. Oh, shit, and it fell. Okay, so this is for Taurus, a love reading for July 2021 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Only positive energies are allowed around my reading. Only positive energies allowed around all of my readings. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so much. I call upon light, love, peace, happiness, and positivity. Yes, sir. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in your love life? Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Universe. Thank you for giving, allowing me to give Taurus. <clears throat> Are you learning more about something, Taurus, or wanting to go to school or back to school? Um, that would be a good idea. So let's get just an eight card spread. This is what I do. I usually do the love energy spread and then the eight card spread in my general readings for everyone. Those are my $20 readings. All right, Taurus, somebody's spying on you or you're spying on someone. It's about a, it's in regards to, this is Page of Swords, <clears throat> spying uh, information, gathering information about someone or something or some kind of situation. And the Page of Swords. Everything is brand new. I feel like a lot of brand new energy here. And I see it. There you are. The all caring and beautiful Queen of Pentacles that is nurturing and caring and solid and stable. Okay, there you are. And here is the Emperor. This is an older gentleman. Are you dealing with an older male Aries? Most probably. Let's see. Page of Swords, and then the Seven of Cups. A little bit of confusion there. And of course, this would come up with a Taurus reading, Grounded, Stable, and Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The money is there. The money is definitely there. Wow, this is very nice. And then the Knight of Pentacles. It could be slow moving and some kind of decision that needs to be made. But it's slow moving, like a slow moving decision about Pentacles apparently but there is confusion about what you need to do right Oof. and the bottom of the deck is the tower card so there is a shocker <clears throat> maybe the news is and it's destined to happen this is under the the tower card the wheel of fortune so it's something that's destined to happen divine timing is it's in place and it has to happen okay so the tower card yep the um the carpet's going to be pulled from under your feet literally that's like a major shocker and i think it has to do with of course the connection <laughs> uh but you finding out information about something and ironically the page of swords is looking over to the tower card i always like to see this and the 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 page of wands is maybe some kind of brand new connection that you'd like to start because there's abundance and there's some kind of confusion within you about a new start about some kind of connection that you would like to start but you see there's somebody in the way and I'm not sure if this is someone 
that I'm gonna get a clarifier. Looky here, Taurus. Look at my clarifying cards. <laughs> Tiny tarot. I just can't with these. They're so freaking cute and they're just tiny. <laughs> so let's see. I have this one that is just a regular schmegular card. And then I have another one that has information on it about the deck. So let's see, because this is kind of like, I want to know who the emperor is for you, Taurus. Because there's a new connection and you're facing it. You're like right in front of each other. That's you. It is slow moving, whatever's going to happen with a contract, right? It is slow moving. And because the tower card is here, there's something happening because you have your back towards the emperor. Who's the emperor that you have your back towards and you're wanting to start this page of wands hotness, you know, this simmering, sizzling page of wands thing here with somebody else. But something has to happen here. Is this slow moving towards divorce? Let's see, because the tower card is there, that is why I'm looking at it like that. Or maybe that there is a marriage with the emperor, a very stoic, and and it's the Aries card, it doesn't have to be Aries, but it could possibly be somebody with Aries in their chart, whatever the case may be. Uh, if it resonates with you, that's cool, but you know what, you need to know that the tower card is coming, or maybe it already did. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Look at this. I'm shuffling the little ones. <laughs> They're so cute. Let me get a clarifier for the emperor card. I think oh, that one wanted to come in. Are you serious? The emperor is strong. The emperor doesn't want to budge. Look how stoic he is. These cards are so freaking cute. And then this one here that turned. What is it? Where'd it go? There were two. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Now you like that. Do, 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 do. I love TikTok. The little songs that they put and stuff. All right. I couldn't find the other one, but I know there was another one here that turned. All right, guys. Um, the clarification of the emperor is the emperor. Go figure. Ooh, this person is strong. Strong energy. And I think it's somebody that there's already <clears throat> a commitment with who is the emperor let me get another clarifier please because if you guys are going to give me the same card i need more clarification because you already told me that this person is is very uh strong <laughs> maybe a strong personality maybe he doesn't want to let go of uh this taurus let's see I right, got, oh shoot, oh no, that's too many. Oh wow, okay. There's too many, I'm gonna get the ones that are face down. Okay, so there's one here that's face down. These are not. This one is face down and it is, oh, the Queen of Cups. All right, let's figure this one out. Because of the Queen of Cups. And how about this one, guys? Let's see. Justice. And this is a Libra card. So that there's a lot of stoic energy here. Um, yeah, justice could also be that there's going to be some kind of divorce or marriage. But I see very strongly here because of the Tower card, Taurus. Because of the tower card here, my beautiful Taurus, grounded, amazing, and beautiful people. Something's happening here. There's confusion, delusion, seven of cups, and you're getting more information about something that you want to start. <clears throat> you're not ready. You're going to start it, and there's abundance that's here, <clears throat> as in... There's money to do whatever you need to do, whatever you want to do to create your reality, your happiness, right? But you need to get rid of a situation that you're not happy in. This is basically what I'm seeing. 
but there's going to be a shocker that comes in and the seven of cups is maybe what you're confused 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 about but when this shocker comes in I'm going to clarify on the, the tower card, Taurus. Because we already know that this energy, the Emperor card, the clarifier is the Emperor again, which is double freaking like not letting go, not letting go, not wanting to let go, not wanting to let go. And then we have this one here, which is the, the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer energy, Cancerian energy. And then looking towards the justice card, which is the Libra energy, is also there, which means justice will be done, justice will be served, balancing out of everything will be served, and there will be a very, uh, how can I say, like that kind of energy, Queen of Cups, the ending that happened through this will be well done, will be nicely done, will be nurtured, will be like the Cancerian card, right? It'll work out. Everything will work out towards your higher good, highest good. And there's a lot of pentacles. I don't see anything negative down here as in pentacles leaving, etc. No, because you're grounded, you're stable, you know what you want. Let's see a clarifier here for, let me know if this resonates with you guys. So the tower card, give me a clarifier, guys, for the tower card, please. Give me a clarifier for the tower card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. I was heating up some dinner, so never mind the microwave in the back. Oh, the tower card. Uh-huh. The six of pentacles and... Holy mackerel. The hermit card again. You've thought about this long and hard, and there has been no give and take in a situation. And, or maybe somebody's taking too much or has something. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm downloading the damn messages and straightening up these cards. So the tower card and the clarifiers are the hermit and the six of pentacles. So the hermit is letting me know this was manifested. This was meant to happen. It's not only the world card, right? As the world turns like La Telenovela, the TV uh, soap opera. So this is not only meant to happen. It was manifested. It was uh, intuitive. It was destined. It was something that this is exactly why you have been thinking about it and going within deep within you're willing to let go you're wanting to let go um but because of the the give and take and the needing to have balance in your life taurus the tower card is coming in so apparently because of this and it's unseen it's usually unseen unless it's already happened taurus but this is a july reading so this is like a heads up keep on doing your um you see these both are here. The world, uh, I'm sorry, the wheel of fortune. Sorry, it was the wheel of fortune. It's meant to happen. It's divine timing. And the hermit card, which you basically need to go deep within to know what you need to do in this situation when the tower card comes in. But you're going to be prepared. You're going to know. You're going to start off a little bit confused uh, because of what's going on. You're going to hear some news you're going to find something out online maybe and this is stalking also so things are going to elevate to a situation where the tower card comes in but you have a brand new beginning here so whether it's a fire sign or not leo sagittarius or aries uh, this is going to come in and this person doesn't want to let go this person is stable very stoic very strong will that could also be an, uh, a libra but regardless, it has something to do with a connection, with a commitment, and something that's coming in slowly but surely. Your pentacles are awesome, of course, Taurus. The pentacles are awesome, and it's going to come in slowly but surely what you desire. So that's your reading, Taurus, for July. If you have any questions or you want a personal reading, 
please contact me through Instagram or send me a quick message um, under this reading, under the, the comments. So please hit like. When you hit like, you the algorithm, something happens there. I'm not sure. I have to look that up because I keep on saying the same thing. But it's good for the, the fellow tarot readers and all of our um, videos that, it, it, I don't know, it, it circulates them, I guess. And then please share, like, subscribe, and tell me how you liked the reading, Taurus. All right, guys. I love you very much. Please also check me out on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Oh, my God, they're so cute. They're so tiny. Check me out. I'm on TikTok, and I'm on uh, every social platform. I have to get more into Twitter, I think. I don't know. But I'm on every social platform as Celia Tarot. Love you, Taurus. Stay strong. Bye.